The airshare is targeted towards the assistive treatment for patients who have existing and potentially severe pressure damage and for those patients considered to be at very high risk. We designed this product for those patients high risk in an acute setting. However, the product is well adapted for use in long-term care, whether a hospital or home care setting. This product is available with a toughened base and securing straps and is made with pulse welding vapour permeable waterproof material. This allows a high moisture vapour transfer rate or MVTR thus maximising the airflow to patient skin surface, keeping skin dry and reducing susceptibility to tissue damage. This complies with even the strictest of infection control protocols. Upon installation, it is always important to ensure that the securing straps are attached to the moving parts of the bed. The moving parts are indicated, such as the knee brake and the backrest. As you can see here, the strap from the bottom of the mattress is secured through the moving parts of the bed frame. Never secure the straps to the outer edges of the non-moving bed. The 200mm high cells cyclically inflate and deflate in an alternating pattern providing direct pressure relief throughout the dynamic process. The Ayrshire can be used for patients up to a weight of 180 kilograms. The mattress dimensions are 200 by 88 by 20 centimetres and the product is easy to move or transfer weighing under 7 kilograms. We will now look at the dynamics of the mattress. As you can see, part of the cover has been removed for the purpose of the training video. The airship is constructed of a layer of 14 cm wide, 20 cm deep cells. The centre cells which are situated underneath the main body of the patient are ventilated. The product operates in a 1 in 2, 11 and a half minute cycle. The cell construction consists of three static head cells. The remaining 15 cells will then alternate during the cycle. The first set will deflate for 5 minutes providing relief. They will then equalise for a minute and a half before the second set of alternating cells start to deflate for five minutes, offering relief completing the 11 and a half minute cycle. The ventilated cells provide a cooling support surface for the patient's skin, creating a microclimate which helps prevent the build-up of heat and moisture. Upon installation, an engineer will turn the system on, leaving it to inflate by connecting it to the power switch. However, usually the engineer will use a rapid inflator bringing the cells up to full capacity in seconds. The air should operate with a digital pump. Switch the pump on at the power socket and press the power button on the control panel. The pump will automatically inflate to 80 kilograms, which offers 20 millimetres of mercury and pressure into the cells. To set the pump to operate with the patient's weight, we need to first unlock the pump. To do this, hold down the lock unlock button for three seconds. The pump will sound a sharp beep and the blue LED light will go off once the pump is unlocked. To increase the patient's weight and or pressure using the firm button. Pressing this button once will increase the pressure in increments of five kilograms. To reduce the pressure or weight of a patient, press the soft button. Again, this will reduce in increments of five kilograms. The pump is designed to offer ultra low pressure delivery for lightweight, frail individuals including paediatric patients. If the pressure is too firm or insufficient for the patient, the clinician at any time can override the system by using the soft firm buttons accordingly. Pressing the static button on the pump's control panel will stop the alternation cycle and both sets of cells will remain fully inflated. When the static button is actioned, you will see the top LED light and the pressure monitor light illuminated. Static mode allows clinical procedures, site transfers or any other procedure to occur. If the static mode has been selected as a safety function, the system will revert to the alternating cycle after 25 minutes. It is better to manually revert to the alternating cycle once procedures are complete but the automatic function is there as an additional feature. Simply press the static mode button again. Once the panel is unlocked, switch off the static mode. Now we can have a look at the dynamics in more detail. As you can see, the patient currently using the Ayrshire is in the supine position. You can also see that every other cell is deflated. As I place my hand between the body and deflated cells, we can feel and see that there is sufficient clearance providing the patient with relief. 
The rapid cell deflation system is unique as pressure relief happens much quicker than on a standard dynamic system, offering immediate relief. The Harida Ayrshire has a second layer of static cells underneath the alternating cells, which prevents any bottoming out onto the bed frame. The second layer of cells are inflated at all times, giving the patient the comfort and support they require. The red tag labelled CPR is located behind the third cell. A swift pull is required to achieve deflation. The system will deflate rapidly in a matter of seconds. CPR can then commence. The Harida Ayrshire comes with a troubleshooting guide on the front panel of the pump, indicating what to do in the event of any problems, whether that be a power cut or an alarm function or inappropriate cell operation. If the power system has a power cut or power is removed from the system, an alarm will sound to indicate that there is a problem. If the pump has a kettle lead, it could be simply that the cable has become detached and simply needs plugging back in. It could also be that the plug has come out of the socket and needs plugging back in. In all cases, the first check should be that the power is connected and is also switched on, both on the pump panel and at the main switch. If the system is depressed, as low as 6 millimetres of mercury for a period of 6 minutes, the alarm will sound. If during the course of all troubleshooting effects you still can't identify the problem, it is important to ensure that the CPR tag is fully hung and connected. It is also important to ensure the tubing on the cells is not kinked. The tubing is located on the side of the mattress where it delivers air to the cells. The tubes will be secured to the mattress by small cable ties to ensure that they do not detach. There is also a small spring at the head of the mattress where the tubing folds back on itself. This spring ensures that the tubing does not kink. Regular cleaning of the mattress is required and we provide cleaning instructions in the user manuals. Copies can also be supplied on request. Maintenance and repair work should only be carried out by an appointed engineer who has been trained by Harida Healthcare. Only original manufacturer parts should be used in any repairs as failure could affect the warranty. In all instances, with any pressure relieving products, always ensure that you seek clinical guidance and use the product in accordance with manufacturer instructions. Thanks for watching. For further information, please contact our free phone number at the end of this video or log on to our website at aridahealthcare.co.uk.